Hey guys, welcome back to Tiger's Dollhouse, and we are back at it again with another crafts video. So, hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. So today in this video, we'll be making a baby crib. And right now I'm just sketching out the headboard design, aka the base of the crib. So the base we just sketched, right now I'm just using it as a guide so I can trace on to more cardboard so I can make sure that the measurements will be correct. And when you have your desired thickness, you can start gluing it together. So we're going to be painting it anyways, but I tend to cover the back. When painting on the print, the paint seems to just scratch off much easier. So. Once the glue dries, we can start sanding everything smooth. Now, we can start working on the frame. Now, I'm going to be using just skinny sticks I got from Walmart. Keep the skinny sticks from maneuvering around. You want something to hold them down, and I'm using paint bottles. Well, I'm going to be gluing two more skinny sticks at the bottom for the legs. As we wait for the glue to dry, I'm going to be working on the top. For this, I'm using this thick rectangular piece of wood I got from Walmart. To cut it in half, I'm also using an X-Acto knife. And I'm sanding all the rough edges smooth. And we're going to try it out and see how it fits. And if it doesn't fit well, you can always sand it down more. Back to the legs, I'm using a skinny stick to make sure I get everything even and to make marks where I can cut. Making the top of the headpiece, I'm going to be using more cardboard and trace around the top. Test it out and be sure you got your measurements correctly. I'm going to add some jumbo popsicle sticks to the back so it won't look so plain. To make sure all the popsicle sticks are the same size, I'm going to use the first one as a guide when cutting the rest until I have eight. to the legs, we're going to be using these square wooden dowels I got from Walmart for about $5. I'm going to be cutting it with an X-Acto knife. Now, this process can take a while, so just be sure to be patient and take your time. The wooden dowels are just for support for the frame that we made earlier, so just be sure to glue directly on the back of the frame. Okay, so we're just gonna leave it sit here and dry just for a few minutes and we'll be right back. I'm just using a ruler to be sure that my lines are even. Now I glued two skinny sticks together and gluing it to the side. Being sure I stay below the pencil line, I'm gonna be gluing the other side as well. So this is optional, but I'm gluing a skinny stick at the bottom just to be sure everything stays in place, just for that extra support. Using more jumbo popsicle sticks, I'm gonna be cutting the round edges off and then lining it up on the crib making marks to know where I'll need to cut. Like 
So just to make sure everything lines up correctly, I'm going to be using the first one as a guide to cut the others. And then flip it over and then cut the other side, making sure everything is lined up correctly. Make four, and then you can start gluing two and two together. Now I'm placing a heavy object on it just to keep everything together. After it's dry, you can start gluing it together. I didn't like how closed in the front was, so I'm just gonna extend it out with more of the same kind of wood I used before. Just gonna cut it a little bit shorter. For that extra support, I'm gluing the longer piece to the bottom, and then we're gonna glue the shorter piece to the top. We're gonna be covering our imperfections with cardboard, so just trace around it, and then use a ruler to make sure your lines are correctly, and then we can start cutting it and gluing it together. For the front legs, we're gonna be using square wooden dowels. Make marks using your ruler, make cuts, then start sanding it down. After you've done that, be sure to make two. Make sure everything lines up correctly, then we can start gluing it down. And here's what we have so far. We need to cover the front. I'm using more jumbo popsicle sticks. I'm marking where cuts are needed. Cut two more, start gluing, glue all three together, then sand, then we can start gluing it down. Using another skinny stick, I mark, cut, glue another together, and then I'm gluing the ends and adding it to the top. For the sides, I'm using these regular popsicle sticks that I got from Walmart and I just glued two together. the bars requires more skinny sticks. I'm going to mark it, cut it, and then make sure it fits. After we're certain, we can start piecing it all together. So it's looking great guys. Now lastly, we need to do the rails. So more skinny sticks. So the rolls are done. Now it's time to paint. So if you guys want some extra details, you can use cardboard, make a rectangle, cut the edges, and glue it to the top. But that's just an option. I'm not gonna be doing it for mine. You can do it for yours so. So I'm gonna paint it off camera, and then I'm gonna be showing the pictures of the finished progress. And that's it, we are finished guys. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below if you like me talking and explain things to you, or you rather just me play the music. Of course, thank you for 500 subscribers. I'm so happy and I appreciate it so much. And I'll see you next time. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye guys.